So I'm just gonna go ahead and just make sure that's centered, everything is in place. And then I'm going to just spray the area. So look at that. Look at how that melted right there with just the even one lace. See that lace? The lace is in. Impeccable. All right guys, so I usually don't do this So I decided today to go ahead and install this unit on camera with you guys and kind of talk it through So this unit that I'm showing you guys today is actually from Julia hair company So this is a body wave textured unit guys. It came to me in 24 inches long So I did co-wash this unit because I bleached the knots on this unit a little bit I did not tweeze this unit guys just because the tweezing job on this one was good The unit did come bleached, but it came bleached lightly So I went in and just did a little extra slant into it just because I wanted it to pop This is a five by five close your wig guys very very nice and this unit is also glueless so this one is a nice HD lace as well too guys so very very realistic very very natural now I did adjust the strap on this unit right here guys because I just wanted to make sure that the unit fit nice I think I'm just gonna fix the hooks in the back just a little bit because I want it to be super secure I'm not using any like glue glue adhesive glue for this unit I'm just gonna spray a little bit of my even wonder lace on top of the uh, closure just to make sure that it's very very seamless um, bleaching the knots on this one definitely just amped it up a little guys you guys can see the inner part of the cap so I'm gonna go ahead and use my red by kiss lace tinting spray in the medium brown and I'm just gonna spray the inner part right here just so that I don't have to use powder I'm not gonna lie to you guys this is actually one of my favorite little sprays now I haven't used sprays in like years maybe like three years I haven't used any types of sprays because a lot of the companies the units you don't really need it but I've been I tried this on another unit it just looks so bomb so I said, you know what, I'm going to use this on my units, like, moving forward. Ooh. Just to see what it's giving. This actually has, like, a coconut-y smell. Oh, so, wow. So this one actually has a peach scent. I didn't even realize that the bottom of this bottle says peach scent. But it smells so freaking good. So I just, uh, you know, sprayed a little bit of that tint spray in here just to give it more of a natural look and like I said I use the medium brown color for my head so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off of this unit guys it's 24 inches so it's a pretty long length um, straightening job is it came out really nice I didn't really see that much shedding with this one just a little bit of hair but it's straightened pretty nice and the body wave texture you guys know they steam press it to be body wave so sometimes I think that it's not gonna last like that but it definitely had a nice little wave after I washed it so I, the straightening job on this one is very simple guys the hair has good luster and it has like a good little weight to it so I so let me go ahead and straighten it out I did do two little baby hairs in the front of this one just to give me like a little swig or whatever but I'm gonna cut the lace off guys and I'll be right back all right guys so I cut the lace off and I'm just plopping this baby down as you guys can see I did go ahead and bleach the knots on this one so I am gonna go ahead and cover that part up with like a little bit of a clean middle part look you guys know I'm gonna show you guys how I do the like the little spray I feel like that with middle part straight here it just gives it such a look um, this is 24 inches but I wish I got this one like a little bit longer maybe like a 30 inch or 32 inch the hair looks very very pretty so I'm really happy about this one now with the closure ways it comes with that little band right here where you kind of put it down and it should land at the right spot I like that because even when the wind blows you guys can see that it's not gonna lift your wig up so people are gonna see any of the track lines so that's one thing about the closure wigs that I like it looks seamless it looks flawless and you won't even be able to see anything on the sides of this wig when if the wind shall be disrespectful one day and kind of lift on you so I realized that the baby hairs I cut was a little bit too long so I'm just gonna trim these baby hairs just a little bit look at me just tossing hair all over the place so I'm just gonna trip this a little bit because I just feel like it's a little bit too too long so I'm gonna go ahead and grab I just realized I don't even have my spray with me so I'm gonna grab my spray and I'm also gonna grab my little parting spray as a matter of fact I might do the part first so let me do the part first all right so I lifted the camera up a little bit so you guys can see the parting space I believe this is like in the middle this is like middle part right guys middle part so this is middle part right here um, the line is not straight so what I'm gonna do is just take the back of my comb my rat tail comb and kind of center in the middle part style I'm gonna start at the back first and work my way down so therefore I can make sure this is good so I am going to use the root touch up instant hairspray concealer spray in black even though the hair is a natural color I use the black just to make sure it's really really you know you know slayed so I'm gonna start at the very back right here and then I'm going to just spray the area so that you don't see any of that bleach line Hopefully I'm going correct because I feel like I just kind of messed that up. So I'm going to slide it down a little bit and I'm going to do the same up here as well too. Oh, there we go. So that was super easy. So even though it seems a little bit dark, all I'm going to do is go in with a little bit of my face powder. And I'm just going to fill in a little bit of the middle part. I feel like it just needs like a little bit right here. There you go. 
perfect. So I just need to fill that in just a very small bit. Okay, so that's perfect. So now that I have that settled, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Even Wonder Lace Spray because I have it centered in the middle part so it's perfect. I don't really have to do nothing else. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just make sure that's centered. Everything is in place. I did go ahead and put these little clips right here just to kind of hold it so it don't get messy. Cause you guys know when you put the spray down and then try to put the headband on, the hair just be all over the place. So I wanna make sure a little bit of it is, you know, up right there. So this will be a quick install guys. The closure wigs are very, very easy to install. Like I love a good closure wig. And closure wigs, look at that, seamless. So, right down. So I'm gonna use a black even wonder lace and I'm just gonna spray above the line that I did. Oh, my spray is kind of short. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna spray above there. Most of the time I usually just do this area because I feel like that's all you really need to get, you know, to be melted right there, right where the baby hair comes in. You want that part to be really nice and slayed. To be completely honest with you guys, I probably won't even do the center. I probably just tap the center a little bit with my hand because I don't want it to be too like juicy in the front right here. So as long as you have like the main event, which I always call like the sides right here, the main event, you want this side to be like really flat. Y'all see that? Y'all see how it just melted with the Even Wonder Lace? Look at that. Look at how that melted right there with just the even one lace. I might just do like a small shot right there in the middle. Just to, I don't want it bleeding through the lace. You know what I mean? Because we already have it in place. And then now I'm just going to take my comb and just move the baby hairs to the side. I'm not going to harshly lay the baby hairs down. I like to use the even wonder lace spray just to stick the baby hairs down. And then I don't use mousse. I just use a spray to kind of get it to unfold because the spray is super strong, guys. So if you want to give your baby hair a shape, use a spray because the spray is going to keep the formation of the baby hair curl. So the mousse and stuff gets really messy on your makeup. The spray doesn't. Like my makeup is not going to look ooey and gooey. Um, so y'all see that? So look at... <laughs> Look at that guys. Look at how this closure wig looks seamless AF. All you gotta do is give yourself some nice space right to hide a little bit of whatever's there, but you really can't see it on this wig from Julie here. Come look at this guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and plop my headband on and then I'm gonna show you guys what the hair looks like once it's down. So I just want it to be right on top of the baby hairs along with the closure itself. I love how the companies always send these really cute um, wraps as well too, these little wig headbands. So. All right guys, so this is how the hair looks straight. You kind of see like a little bit of static and that's mainly because of how um, the unit was body wave. So I'm gonna go ahead, I already straightened it out for you guys just because, or straightened it out for myself, just because when I saw the kind of density of the unit and how nice it was, I knew it was gonna look nice straight. So I'm just gonna go through it a little bit. You guys can see how very nice this hair is, the luster and everything is very pretty. There are also flyaways with this unit. So what I do with the flyaways is I honestly just use the Even Wonder Lace. Once I get the wig to be as straight as I want it to be, I'm just gonna use the Even Wonder Lace to set everything on top. All right, so I did go ahead and change my top, got my little leopard print dress on to go, my little leopard print headband. So it's a really easy pop on and pop off type of situation right here. This baby here is looking a little, a little suspect. So I'm gonna go ahead, oh no, there you go. I just have to fix it to kind of mold the way I want it to. But y'all see how these baby hairs just, with the spray, it's like easier. So let me come up close so you guys can see that lace. The lace is in impeccable y'all see that okay so we kept it simple baby you see that very simple um i feel like it's a clean part y'all can see the clean parting space on here it's a nice closure wig not too much to see you see that side you can't see anything on this side you guys see it's a closure wig but like i said again even if the wind blows you get like a little pushback but nothing crazy same thing goes for this side i really love a closure wig guys i feel like closure wigs are simple very easy. This is a body wave texture, so if you wanna go ahead and curl this unit up and do like a curl or something, add some layers, you can. But I feel like this straight look just, you guys see that? I feel like the, let me fix the hook in the back, cause I'm like, wait, why is it lift? Okay, there we go. Oh my God, and it lays very flat. The wig lays super flat. If you want to, you can just have it go like that, just to open up that parting space to give it more realistic vibe. I'm gonna go ahead and straight in the front right here real quick okay just to give it like a little straightened out or whatever but very cute hopefully i'm coming on camera pretty nice so you guys can see how beautiful this wig is 
And like I said, this is a straight, this is a body wave texture, but I just straightened it out just to show you guys the potential of this unit. You can curl it. I show you guys a lot of curled styles with my unit, so I want to give you guys something a little bit straight, a little bit sleek for today, honey. So let me know what you guys think about this one. I usually use my even just to get some of the flyaways down. So let me know what you guys think about this one. It's giving.